What's going on guys, it's Shane, I'm back here again with another video. Today we have a very special video. Uh, Gatlinburg, Tennessee 2022 has officially released, owned by Wilson County Schools Transportation. Uh, the developers and I have worked very, very hard on this game, uh, so we do hope you all enjoy it. Basically today I'm just going to be doing a quick review as to what's new in the game. Uh, so, right off the bat you have a brand new starter screen. Uh, it's not the best, however, it's what we you know, have for now. Um, so, you know, it could always be updated in the future. Uh, you've got a credits here. Um, shout out to every single person on this list here. Um, so, yeah. Uh, and then you got a settings here, which will actually turn off shadows, which will reduce a little bit of lag. There it goes, right there. Personally, I don't like that. My computer does just fine, so you could turn that back on. And there they are. All right. Um... So yeah, we'll go ahead and press play. And uh, for those of you who watched my other video on Gatlinburg, which was the, you know, um, kind of goodbye 2021 phase, uh, you guys can kind of compare and contrast the differences, really. Um, so, as you can see, the lot's pretty much the same. Um, yeah, so as far as new things go, we have a map here. Uh, it's not the greatest looking map, however, it is what it is for now. Um, you've got the downtown area, you've got this huge area. If you guys, uh, I don't know, I would pull up the other map, but that's just a little bit, you know, too much work. Um, but, uh, trust me when I say this, uh, it's a lot bigger. And we do have, at least I have plans to expand, like, over here and then, like, over here. And it'll be cool. This bridge will open back up soon, actually, so, um... As far as buses go, we do have a new spawner, um, which looks absolutely amazing. Um, now, all of these are 2022 buses, which is kind of weird. Normally, if a 2022 bus, you know, normally a 2022 bus isn't really available to the public. Usually, they're premiums. Um, and I think they are premiums. However, I don't know what Nick plans to do with, like, um, some of these buses. Like, there's only s a certain amount you can spawn in. And I don't know if that's done on purpose or not. Uh, so we are aware of that. Uh, you know, if there's a bus you can't spawn in, uh, we are aware of that. So you've got Bluebird Visions, you've got ICRE, you've got IC, you've got C2s, um, Thomas HDXs, uh, T3REs, T3FEs, EFXs, D3REs, and then, like I said, the ICRE. Um, so... Video purposes, we are going to drive the. Let's see. Should we drive a Bluebird? I kind of want to drive a Bluebird. I believe. Okay, so now B1 is one of the ones you can't spawn in. However, I know you can spawn in B7 and B11. So, here we go. Oh my goodness. So, that's an issue. Okay, let me try that again. B11. Okay, there we go. Just a little bit of lag spawning that in. That's okay. So this is a 2022 Bluebird Vision. Very nice. Very, very nice indeed. Go ahead and take this sign off the back. Do love the seats. Oops. Very nice seats. Okay. It's got the proximity sit thing, but you can just kind of run into it. So go ahead and press that. Go ahead and start it up. Now, please note, all of these buses have working inside features when it comes to parking brake, uh, the gear shifter, and speedometer. Uh, at least this one does. I know the other ones have, like, see the parking brake works, and then the gear shifter thing works as well. And then the speedometer on this bus also works. But, uh, should I? Okay, we'll turn that off. Okay. So, we'll just go ahead and get started here. Um... So, a couple things that are new. Um, these two buildings in front of us here. Uh, as you guys know, the old Dollar Emerald was a little kind of weird looking. So, that one got an upgrade. Uh, thanks to Reactor, uh, who built both of these buildings. Um, and then you have kind of a kind of a rip-off PetSmart right there. Which is really cool. Uh, over here on our right, um, we have... This same area right here, uh, kind of just changed the name to Worst Buy, uh, since Best Buy was a little copyrighted. 
Um, and then right there, as you can see, is a new high school that I built myself. Uh, now, I'm not one to build amazing like bus loops or anything because I absolutely suck at it. I don't know why. It's just something I can't do. Um, so, the bus loop isn't the best, okay? And you may notice the bus loop is kind of the same on all three schools. Um, for now, until I can find someone better to do bus loops. However, you got the front of the school right here, which I'm not going to pick up here. We're just going to, like I said, I'm just doing a kind of a review. Uh, maybe we can do a route in another video. Uh, and then, no, if we take a right here, oh gosh. Okay, and then you've got the back of the school right here. It's kind of the same lot, it's just reversed. It's just kind of like flipped. That's exactly what it is. And then there's the doors right there. Pretty nice. Um, now, what I, what I do is I find my images off Google, you know, and I try to recreate them with my own little touch or whatever. Uh, so that was that. I probably should have went right, but anyways. You can see the new mountains off in the distance as well, uh, which is absolutely amazing. That's kind of the look that I wanted to get. Uh, the older version of this game did not have a single mountain, or even trees for that matter, um, which was kind of embarrassing to call Gatlinburg. Uh, so, I had to help uh, get mountains in here. Also, a special thank you to Reactor for that as well. Uh, Reactor's worked a lot. I think, out of all developers, I think I can say Reactor's worked the most. Um, respectfully, of course. I added all the trees though. That is one thing I did. I added all the trees. <laughs> I don't think anyone else added trees. Maybe Josh, but uh, I did add all the trees around the map. This building here on our right is still the same simply because it's amazing. I'm not too sure who actually built that, but it looks amazing. That pie shop. I wanted to keep that in there because it looked awesome. Um, over here on our right, uh, so if you didn't know, all the schools are in the same locations except the elementary school. So here is the new middle school built by Bird, um, which is an, another amazing school. Now I built both the high school and elementary school. Bird built the middle school. A very nice looking school as well. Very, very nice. And then you've got like a little lot over there for bus parking or probably car parking. Probably more of a car park. Uh, here is a Three Guys, um, built by Reactor. Very nice build, if I do say myself. My, if I do say so myself. Um, very, very nice. Um, go ahead and take a look at that right there. Uh, we'll go straight. I built that whole neighborhood over there. Now here is kind of the main strip. If you've ever been in Gatlinburg, you know there's that main strip that has you know, stores and malls on both sides. Uh, this is kind of what this is. Um, now, if you refer to the map, it says that this part is the downtown area, which I guess you could say that, but I kind of wanted this area to be the downtown area. However, we had plans for this side being the downtown, which we still do. However, it's not completed. Okay. Um, there is a lot more to come on this side of the river. Okay. Uh, so, it is not done. This game is not done, okay? This game is being worked on. As well as every other, um, not every other, I should say. Um, like I said, when we complete a project, we're going to start working on a different one. Um, but uh, this is kind of the main strip here. you got a police station, a dollar store, and then Aqua Offices, which is really cool as well. Um... So, I think the next thing we're working on is, like, Riverside or something like that. Uh, but, that should be fun. First things first, though, we should have to finish this bridge, uh, finish what we were doing over here, and then the any last bug reports, and then we'll start working on the uh, newer game, kind of. Um, so, that's nice. Uh, this fire station is still in the game. Uh, we had someone else build another fire station, however, I think we just decided to keep this one in the game. So, there's that. Now, here is the cool part, at least I think. Okay, 
Uh, you've got these buildings over here on your right that I built. I built this one and this one. I've got the lights up there. You've got this right here. And then on the other side, you got the SCP Foundation. Very nice. And you've got all these little stores right here. And then you've got some stores with player names on them that won the giveaway contest. Uh, they got a store named after them. So that's fun. Uh, and then here is a hotel. Don't worry, we'll go over there in a second. Um, here is a hotel right here. Very, very nice. Built by Jacquez. Very, very nice. I'm going to go ahead and back it up. Don't worry, we're going to check out some of the neighborhoods over there as well. Um, we still have to check the elementary school, which is over there. However, we're going to go across the way here first. Like I said, this area over there is not completely done, so. Is that a... Okay. All right. Anyways, for those of you who have played the game already, let me know what you think down below. Um, was it worth the wait? Was it is it better than what it used to be? That's all I want to know is because uh, when we get that sort of satisfaction or it's kind of a relief, you know what I mean? Um, to know that we've been working on this game and to know that uh, it paid off, really, you know? That's all we want to know, really. I got to connect those lines right there. I totally forgot about that. Is it green arrow? Yeah. Okay. Now, this bridge is also built by Reactor. <laughs> like I said, Reactor built a lot. Um, so, special thank you to them. Uh, now, we do plan, I, at least I wanted to, I wanted to kind of get realistic water. Uh, I don't know why we use this. Um, we should use the water kind of like at the pond, which I will show you guys as well. The pond area is a cool area. Alright, we'll go ahead and make a left here. Like I said, this area is not done. You can see a road kind of going up the mountain right there. Uh, we do have plans to kind of extend that way, which would be cool. Um, so, yeah. I mean, this, like I said, this is supposed to be downtown area. However, our plans kind of shifted, I guess. But I guess it's still kind of a downtown area. You've got a postal office. You got a bunch of buildings and construction, a bunch of houses, and then like a gas station, which is nice. Um, so here are my plans, though. Um, with the downtown area over here, um, Reactor built this nice looking park right here in the middle, which is kind of, it's kind of reminding me of like a, um, like a town square type of park. And what I wanted to do is I built these two buildings here on the right, like right here. I plan to get buildings like this all around the park, basically, like all lined up all right here and then lined up on the sides and then on that back area right there as well. So uh, I do plan to do that. Uh, and we'll go ahead and make a right right here. Like I said, this area is not done. So... Um, here is a hospital built by, I don't even, the name is H underscore VCN. I don't know what to call them, but that's their name, their username. So, very nice looking hospital. Uh, there is a, um, a YouTube video of like a time lapse of him building it, uh, which I won't link down below. You'll just have to find it. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, that's pretty much it for this area right here. Once again, not done. Um, we'll go ahead and make a quick stop, just to, just so you guys can kind of see the experience. The uh, controls on the inside do work, like I said, ambers, reds, they do work. Just to get a thumbnail, I guess. Uh, maybe I'll get it at the. Uh... I don't know. This looks pretty nice. Oh wait, that might look like a nice thumbnail. Let's see. That might work. I don't know. Let's see. Okay. We will go ahead and head back to the... Ah, I probably should have went out over there. I got to go all the way over here now. 
I just noticed that that line's not even connected. Oh, man. Don't worry, we'll fix all that stuff. We just wanted to get this game out so you guys could play. Uh, this group has 13,000 members, and without a game, that's no fun. Alright. Now this light here I don't think works. It's one of those lights where it's like a flashing yellow, so you kind of stop and go whenever you can. Or a flash. it might be a flashing yellow or a flashing red, I don't know. Kind of the same thing. Alright. We're going to go ahead and make a right up here. Kind of show you that little construction area I was talking about in the last Gatlinburg video. Alright. Make a right right here. Alright, so you have some nice scenery right here, and then a bunch of houses and neighborhoods. Now, I have a question for you all. Um, there are a lot of, like, road loops in this game. What I mean by that is, like, it's a bunch of roads where it goes, you go in one way and go out the other way, and it's kind of one big loop. Uh, and what I was wondering if you guys, would you want to keep those in game? I know a lot of you guys kind of said those are a bit annoying and I do think they are as well by the way here's the road construction right here uh, the reason I added this is because the road was a little uneven and I had to give it some sort of look to make it not look stupid so um, I was gonna put like a stop sign there as well to like you know two two buses can't go through at once so whoever gets there first has to go um, but yeah um, like I said bus loop or not bus loop uh, kind of a road loop I will show you one here in a second. If I can find one. Just give me a second. There are quite a bit in the game and they do kind of get annoying. Uh, so I can understand if you don't want them in game. Uh, which I will be removing them. Not kind of remo removing them but giving them like another exit. I think I'm just going to make them like an actual street. Not like an actual loop. Oops, kind of clipped the edge right there. Anyways, I think we're going to pass the um, middle school here. Or, sorry, elementary school. Very nice. Here is the elementary school right here. Uh, I also did build this. Very, very nice. Special thank you to myself. Like I said, the bus loops are kind of the same. Very nice. Uh, maybe I should get like a little thumbnail here as the sun starts to go down. All right. There we go. Oops. Very, very nice. And then on the other side of the school is kind of another bus loop. However, we're going to check out this little pond here. Hopefully you guys can see it while the sun goes down. Now, I named this pond. It's also called the Green Lagoon, but however, this was supposed to be a pond that was, you know, like a normal pond. However, it was, it was never really cleaned, okay? So, I named it the Green Sock Pond since 1806. Do you want to know why? It's because it looks like a green sock from, from up, from up here. Um... Which is weird, but yeah, it does. Hold on, let me maybe I can get a nice screenshot. Oh my god, that looks amazing. However, I need shift. Uh, no, the sun went down. Ah, never mind. Okay, let me go ahead and hop back in. Also, I think the day and nighttime rotation is perfect. It's uh 45 minutes. Uh, at least that's what I was told. It was like 45 real minutes. Of like sun time and night time, I guess. I don't know if that's true or not, but it's, yeah. Anyways, we'll go ahead and we will back up. There we 
we go. Very nice interior. Now we're going to go ahead and check out the bus loop at the back of the school. Which is kind of hidden. You can't really find it unless you actually look for it. Well, it's not that hidden, but it's just in a neighborhood, kind of. If you make a left here. And it's basically the next street over right here. Um, if you go right here. Also, this is one of the bus loops, kind of. Actually, no, I said bus loops. Street loops. No, actually, no, it's not. It's got multiple exits. Anyways, here is the location. Uh, I kind of named this the drop-off. As the sign says right there. However, I didn't really know which one to use. I don't know if you could... I guess you could drop off here. You could drop off here or in the front. It doesn't really matter, I guess. But, uh... Yeah, here's the bus loop in the back. And then we'll go ahead and turn it around right here. Oh god, I can't see. I need to add street lights back here. That's what I'll do. Totally forgot about that. Anyway. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys one of those street loops that I'm talking about. And then after that, uh, we will head back to the lot and kind of wrap it up. It's going to be kind of a long video. Alright. So, here's an example, okay? There's two of them here. Um, you can kind of see it right here. I'm just going to stop right here. So you kind of go in one way and then it wraps around like that. Um, which... It's kind of weird. It's a it's it's weird because you have to go in one way, and you have to loop all the way around and kind of go back out the way you came, like this. Now my plan was to get rid of this like little curve area and just make these one like straight. You know, roads connect to the main road, kind of two roads instead of one big road, basically. That's one big curved road. However, I'm thinking about removing the curves and make them just straight to go out that way. Would you guys want that? However, I can keep like maybe one or two of these in the game. The reason I want to remove it is because it's kind of annoying. And it kind of just feels like you're going in a circle. I'm going to be honest with you. And look, there's another one right here where you go all the way around like that. And then there's another one up here. So that's kind of, that's kind of why I want to remove a few. However, you know, I'd keep probably one or two. So, there's that. Um, and I think that's pretty much everything. Um, we'll go ahead and go make a right here. Let's see. I think that's everything. Um, but if you guys have any, like, questions or, like, comments, do let me know down below. Um, you know, if you want me to add anything, if you guys have any ideas, you can comment them down below. Uh, I'll be sure to look at them as I look at every comment on my videos. But, uh, yeah, so that area over there is still the same with the apartments and the, uh, the, like, the supermarket area over there. That's pretty much the same. However, I do want to show you guys this, if you guys haven't checked this out already. This was my idea. Right here. There's a little broken down uh, broken down 3800 right here and it says drivers wanted starting at $20 an hour you can become a driver here at Wilson County Schools transportation today at least one year of work experience required I thought that was pretty cool so I got that added in which was pretty cool and then you have like the service center right here which is pretty cool as well and then you have kind of the offices in here they're not done however there are a few in there uh, they're not done, like I said. Um, I plan to have, like, HR offices over here and then development over here. So, there's that. Um, now, to list a few bugs that we are aware of. Uh, one is the, um, like I said, the buses that won't spawn in. That is a common, it's aware, we are aware. Um, the reverse sound that can be heard uh, everywhere is also known. Uh, I think that's the T3RE. We will fix that. And then... I think that's all of them. Let me look at bug reports real quick. Um, uh, and like little things like misplaced uh, street lamps and stuff like that we are aware of. 
Uh, and then the right and left turn signals on the electric BVB are also, uh, we are also aware of. Um, also, I forgot to say there are a few game passes you might want to be interested in. You have the electric bus pass, you have the IC bus pass, and you have the G5 bus pass, as well as the mini bus pass. Now, in the electric bus pass, you have a electric uh, T3RC, electric Thomas C2 Julie, and then an electric Bluebird Vision. Um, and then in the IC pack, you have the, um, okay, why is it doing that? Uh, it won't, okay. Uh, okay, my game kind of just did something stupid. Oh, it got updated. Okay, interesting. Uh, in the IC pack, you have a two buses. You have a, a shorty IC and you have an IC, ICAE. I don't, I'm not too sure what that is. Uh, but, uh, yeah, you do have that. Um. But uh, with that being said, um, that's pretty much it on the review. Um, like I said, this game's not done yet, so we are still updating, and we are still requesting, you know, we'll take requested things to put in the game as well to make your experience better. Um, so that's pretty much it. If you guys do wish to play this game, it will be linked in the description down below, as well as their Discord server, as well as mine, as well as my merch. Um... And uh, that's pretty much it. Let me know how you guys like the new game. Uh, with that being said, please leave a like and subscribe. And I will catch you guys next time.